Hi everyone, I'm really glad I put up the video on the third trimester last week because just a few days later, I went into delivery mode and Bulbul has arrived. That is the greatest news for this week that Bulbul is no longer here and is outside. Welcome back to Kanika's Corner and as you can see, we are in the hospital. It's been two days since Bulbul came out and I'm going to talk about how we reached here the excitement of the delivery and all that happened in the few days between putting up the third trimester video and now. About a month and a half ago when I had chikungunya, we started noticing that the liquor around the baby uh, was reducing, maybe a side effect of it. And so that was when it was decided that, you know, we'll do a cesarean section for the baby, you know, not put it under additional stress of going through labor and a normal delivery. Uh, Ducky had anyway come out as a cesarean section, so that was the plan. And um, maybe because of the low amniotic fluid, I couldn't feel as much movement. And uh, I was asked to go through regular non-stress tests to make sure that fetal well-being is being maintained. And so, you know, every three days I would come to the hospital, get that little test done. It's a 10-15 minute test. I uh, hear the heartbeat, know that the baby is moving well and then go back home. So we were all gung-ho for it and everything was going well. We said, let's reach week 38, which will be amazing. And then, you know, we reached week 36, which was one more day when Ducky was born. And I said, yeah, we've crossed a milestone. We didn't cross it for too long because three days after that, uh, my, my belly started becoming very hard. I started, the uterine wall started hardening even though there were no contractions and after 24 hours of that sort of discomfort the doc looked at me and said well the choice is either we can do it now or you can do it one or two days later but the, you know that uterine wall hardening would continue to be the same I you know I said uh, let's do it now because <laughs> that was really uncomfortable so we came into the hospital we came in the morning for the checkup came back at 5 p.m. got admitted and uh, went through all the you know admission processes and voila by 9 pm this little one was out um, you know um, amazing how quickly things can change within a few hours he was safe, safe, and, safe and snug inside and then just like that he was out it, it was truly i mean an amazing feeling to hear him cry and to know that he is healthy he is well and uh, you know it's it's just I, I guess it's only when you are a parent and you see your baby for the first time after having imagined it in the womb for so long that it's such a beautiful feeling and it's really that once in a lifetime feeling i know we have ducky and we went through similar feelings then but each child is so different and so unique and um, I sort of you fall in love with them immediately at that moment even when they're covered with everything so that's exactly what happened with Bulbul. That is the story of how he arrived into the world. And to talk about the few hours post the cesarean section, eh, not nice. Uh, they gave us spinal anesthesia, which is really good because it means that I was awake to see Ducky, I mean, to see Bulbul as soon as he arrived, right? But the side effect of that was that I had bad nausea, a really bad headache and chills for about a few hours post delivery. And thankfully it settled down after that. So one of the things I've been really grateful for this time is I seem to be a lot fitter and much more comfortable than I was the previous time. Possibly because the chicken gunya um, had prepped me for pain, you know, all the joint ache and the muscle ache and all of that that I had. And also I think all the exercises I did with my trainer over the last few months, and, you know, running behind Ducky and keeping up with her antics, all of that. As uh, I didn't think that, you know, two days, well, forget about two days, uh, about 12 hours post the delivery, I was walking around the room, you know, I needed help getting out of the bed a little bit. But other than that, going about all my jobs. And a huge plus of being this mobile is that I've been able to use the menstrual cup again this time. Uh, makes the, makes, you know, the whole recovery process so much more comfortable. It was a good thing the delivery happened when it did because we discovered that Bulbul had two loops of umbilical cord around his neck and so we didn't further stretch him out with anything else. 
it's been two years since you know Ducky came out as that tiny little baby, and Bulbul is just about the same size. But there are some things that you don't forget. Some of the things that I haven't forgotten are how tiny they are to carry, and you know it feels like even little wriggling mass. So you got to be sort of you're ultra careful when you're carrying them. The other thing is breastfeeding. I haven't forgotten any of um, either the the beauty of it or the pain of it. So both both angles are there. And what what we have done is that I felt that Ducky was too young to come to the hospital, see us, and then go back home without me going home with her. And therefore, um, Ducky doesn't know about Bulbul's arrival as yet. I haven't seen her in the last two days. And when we are discharged, we will go home and you know talk to her about it and see what happens. And I will keep you updated in in a few weeks' time about how that goes. But the other thing that has come back is my hunger and my appetite. Over the last two weeks, they had slowly vanished, and uh, eating food had become quite a torture. So I am very happy that uh, I look at the thali meal and I'm able to finish most of it and enjoy all the tastes. The joint family has been a blessing as they have just come in and taken over Ducky's care, and you know they're keeping her entertained and engaged enough that she's not looking for me all the time. And if she is, then they just distract her and you know do whatever is needed for that. Including, they sent um, all my friends and family a little announcement message that I had put together with drawings for my friends and family. And uh, you know, sent that out. I didn't have to do anything with any of that. All I've had to do is sit in hospital, take care of myself, take care of Bulbul. Right? The wonder of having family around us to help. And so, folks, we are going on a little break as I get settled into life with a newborn and a toddler. We'll come back in a few weeks' time with more videos, more updates, and more learnings. So, see you. Bye. Take care. And please do subscribe.